Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for having us. It's our fourth time here, so I will focus on just what is new at Enid. And there are two things currently which excite me. One is the fact that in the last six months, we were able to sell more than 50% over the phone. And that feels so good because it gives us fairly unlimited reach. And the second aspect is that we achieved more on the technical side to enable you to offer your products and services to our customer base. We'll go in more detail. Just a quick onboarding for the people who don't know Enid. Uh, this is what we do. We sell an edge computing solution to industrial companies. And it helps them to first save energy costs for 5 to 20% in the first year. And secondly, to use the energy data wherever they would like. The current customer base is, consists of only manufacturing plants. We have the big ones, but the majority are small and medium-sized. It starts at one gigawatt hours per year. So if we look at the current customer base, um, we monitor a total of two terawatt hours per year. And it, like you see, it's, it ranges across all industries. This is the geographic uh, distribution. We're mostly active in the German-speaking countries, um, but we also start doing European multi-sites. Now to the first uh, part I want to share. It's the sales achievements. When we decided to sell more over the phone, for us it was crucial to keep up our conversion rate. We started with 25%. In the last two years, we doubled our business, and now we still have 24% over the course of 2018. That was crucial. But then we also wanted to make it quicker and to really enhance B2B sales. So here's the average of our sales cycle within 2018. There are, on average, only 33 days from presentation to closing. And even 39% of that we closed within seven days. And it helps us to waste less money on sales and it enhances the, the solution and the readiness for the customer. So this is crucial in the first part. The second part is mostly about the technical achievements. And if you would ask our team, well, how does that look like, they would show you this. So it's a bit technical, but on the first instance, what you see is our homework on the bottom. We have to do data acquisition across all energy media types. And this has to pay off already for a customer. Otherwise, they don't do it. And then you have the benefit of giving the data to all the use cases you would like to have. So this can be combining it with production data, using it for PV installations, or also using it for industrial automation use cases. I know it's a bit detailed, so I brought a few examples where it becomes more visible. This is how we start. We show the energy data in real time. This is what he sees across all layers. Then we also do the data analytics part, which is crucial in order to help him how to save. And once we have that, and he has a positive ROI in the first year, then it becomes more interesting and we can open up more interfaces, for example, to ERP systems. Then you can allocate energy data to processes and products. And with Abbas, we implemented the solution so far that we can even do production planning based on energy data. One very uh, prominent example at the moment. And the second topic is that we really feel a second wave of PV installations in the industrial segment. Um, it's very profitable to do this uh, at the moment for self-consumption. And here we enable it to the customer that they have a quick simulation dimensioning of the system, and it helps partners to actually deploy those solutions. From a more strategic perspective, what is it that we are actually doing here and why we started the company? It's an energy management system, but what it really does here is to help the customer have a quick access to the technology. We want to gain our trust, keep our promises, and show him more insights. And once you've done this, then you're at the position that it actually becomes easier for him to use a battery, to use a PV system, to uh, use a new contracting or better procurement contract. And in this game, we have a win-win situation, situation with people who are offering services in this area. So we'd like to speak to you if you have synergies in this. Last but not least, I put in a, an, an update from uh, Roland Berger, which came out in February. And for us, it's quite nice to see because it proves a little bit our business hypothesis of the last year. You see our segment of software in this field is growing by 14%. That's no surprise. Heavy drivers like regulation and digitalization are playing here. But what's the interesting part is that you see the software market is not really the biggest market here. It's what comes next to that. Consulting, engineering, operations, contracting. 
So this is what we enable, and if you're in this field, then uh, we'd like to assess this further. Now the time is up, so last but not least, uh, invitation to our customer day. This uh, is what we've done last year, and it was a very good forum to have really direct access to customers and the SME uh, field. So if you want to know what they are thinking about at the moment, uh, please feel free to visit us in Freiburg in October. Thanks very much.